Hello, I'm Scotty. Hey, I'm Melinda, and we're Simple Life Big Adventures. We're sitting on our front porch tonight. So pull up a chair, get comfy, and we'll talk about eight of our favorite Tennessee waterfalls. It's difficult to rank Tennessee waterfalls. So we're just going to talk about eight of our favorite Tennessee waterfalls in no particular order. So we are going to start with Cummins Falls in Cookville, Tennessee. Cummings Falls is located at Cummins Falls State Park, which happens to be one of our newest state parks in the state of Tennessee. Cummins Falls is a 75-foot water drop, and it is a strenuous two-and-a-half mile round-trip hike into the gorge. All right, so um, what is your favorite part about Cummins Falls? It's got to be the swimming hole. It has been ranked one of the best swimming holes in the United States, so you cannot go to Cummins Falls without swimming. You just can't. Not only is Cummins Falls a great place to swim, it's also a great place to, to snorkel, which is something I enjoy doing. Okay, let's talk about the fun hike into the gorge. It is rather difficult, and as we said before, it's about a two and a half mile round mm -hmm. trip, right? Two and a half mile round trip. It does require a river crossing. Sometimes two. Sometimes two, and you will be walking upstream, so dress accordingly. And in cold weather, you might have to wear appropriate attire for that. And it is a beautiful waterfall to see if Tennessee is frozen over. We'll throw photos of that in there, too. Over the last couple of years, they've experienced a few tragedies. So they've had to make the decision to close the gorge if there is threat of rain, even upstream threat of rain, even though it might be sunny at the pool itself. It could be flooding upstream somewhere mm -hmm. in... in Sometimes there's 6,000 people that visit the state park on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's it, very it is a very, that, that is probably the only con that I have about the waterfalls is it is so busy. There are so many people that go there. So it would be hard to get 6,000 people out of the gorge if uh, an emergency did happen. So if you want to visit Cummins Falls State Park, you got to plan ahead if you want to go down into the gorge. So just check the website or the Facebook page and they will let you know if the gorge is going to be open for the day. All right, on to waterfall number two. And we have Lost Creek Falls in Sparta, Tennessee. Lost Creek Falls is a 60-foot waterfall. And it is an easy two-tenths of a mile hike from parking lot to see the falls. It happens to be located in a huge sinkhole. At one end of the sinkhole, you got a beautiful waterfall, and the water just disappears into the ground. At the other end of the big old sink, about 100 yards away, is a beautiful cave. You do need permission to enter the cave, and it's done online. And I will post the link to that information on how to get your permit for entering the cave in the description below. So what do you like about Lost Creek Falls? Let's see, I think Lost Creek Falls is beautiful because it is a 60-foot drop and up above, there is a trail that goes mm -hmm. up above to view from above, yeah. the waterfall. And the water actually flows out of a cave from up there. It comes from underground up there, and it flows down, flows over the waterfall, and then sinks back into the ground again. Just disappears. So if you're looking for an easy waterfall to visit, this would be it because it's very easy to hike to the base of it. And you will be amazed with the beauty of the area. And we have Greeter Falls in Beersheba Springs. Greeter Falls is a 50-foot waterfall. It is a 3.2-mile round-trip moderate hike. Uh, some of your spots might be a little bit tricky, though, so watch your footing. Especially around down the bottom where you're doing a lot of rock hopping. It does have a beautiful winding staircase, circular staircase, oh, yeah, spiral staircase that's, before you get to the bottom. That's where you get more, most of your elevation change. Okay. Is in okay. Because it, it is, you drop off the cliff there and yes. that's why the spiral staircase is there. Greeter Falls is located within the South Cumberland State Park system, which encompasses a lot, uh, but they have a beautiful swimming hole. It is absolutely gorgeous. All right, next waterfall is Ozone Falls in Rockwood, Tennessee. Ozone Falls is a 110 foot waterfall and it's probably less than 100 yards from the parking lot to the top of the waterfalls. 
climbing out from the base of the falls is a little more difficult because you're climbing 110 feet in six tenths of a mile. Especially if you spend any time down at the base playing around. There's not a whole lot of swimming at the base of the falls. Just playing around in the water a little bit. There is a trail, you have to be very careful, but there is a trail that goes around behind the waterfalls. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It makes for beautiful photos. Um, Photo opportunities every, everywhere. From everywhere the base, down there. From the the, base, the from falls the top. is amazing. Next waterfall. We have Fainter Falls in Sparta, Tennessee. One of my favorite waterfalls. Fainter Falls is an 80 foot waterfall with a beautiful swimming hole down at the bottom. Uh, it is very cold water though. Very cold water mm -hmm. and only accessible. It is only accessible by boat. Because the top is private property. Because the top is private property. Uh, we, the only way we, we, way we have got in there is by kayak. We put in at Cookville Boat Dock and it's about a two and a half mile paddle across Center Hill Lake to Taylor Creek. There's a sign there. Is there? Uh -huh. There's a sign there that points out Fainter Falls. And then you'll paddle up Taylor Creek and depending on lake levels, your water levels, there's probably a half a mile hike. Mm -hmm. But it's fun. It's a fun yeah, hike. A half a, a mile hike on, on up Taylor Creek to get to the base of the waterfalls. It's a fun paddle, fun hike, and we've seen bald eagles mm -hmm. in, the, we in did, the spring. We did, see, we did see juvenile. This is, uh, waterfalls has fond memories for me. When my dad was a child, he actually lived on the Fainter property that is up at the top and so I've always been familiar with Fainter Falls, Fainter property. The first time I ever viewed it was from the top and now it is private property and and you do have to come in, you have to come in from the lake, Center Hill Lakeside now. But again, it's a fun paddle, mm -hmm. it's a fun hike. It is beautiful, beautiful waterfalls beautiful. and they have the geodes, there's lots of geodes mm -hmm. down there so if you're, if you're looking for a geode it'd be a fun little fun little uh, scavenger hunt to go on down there. The paddle is fun, but it is kind of difficult paddling, especially if you got a mm -hmm. lot of traffic on the water, mm -hmm. and especially if you got headwinds. Uh, the last time we did paddle it, we had headwinds and boat traffic. On our paddle bag, we was pretty exhausted. It, it was pretty exhausting, but it, it was so worth it. It is, it is a beautiful paddle. Pack a lunch. Okay, we have Foster Falls near Tracy City, Tennessee. Foster Falls is part of South Cumberland State Park, and it's a 60-foot waterfall with a beautiful swimming hole down at the base. It is a 1.6-mile round-trip hike to the base of the falls, but once you get down there, you're rewarded with the swimming hole mm -hmm. that is down there. and. The sandstone cliffs that surround the falls, you're, you're just kind of down in a hole down there. It's, it's very pretty. It's a beautiful hike down to the bottom. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. You got to watch your footing. It's a little difficult. Uh, you, you're doing some boulder hopping a little bit. Be and down at the base, there is a, a bridge mm -hmm. you must cross. A, a, yeah, just, a, a, just bridge. a small suspension bridge. It's a beautiful yeah. bridge. It's, it's real pretty. They take, it takes good, it's good um, waterfall photos from there. Yes, very good photos mm -hmm. from there. Um, the climb back out, be prepared for the climb back out. A little difficult. Uh, stop and rest is all I can say. It's, it's, a, it's a little strenuous. The view from the top is also beautiful and you go upstream from the top and cross another bridge and the trail wraps around and there's great photo opportunity. Okay, we're down to two of some of our favorite Tennessee waterfalls. And we have Burgess Falls in Sparta, Tennessee. Burgess Falls is a 130-foot waterfall, and it's located at Burgess Falls State Park. Uh, there are actually four waterfalls in the park. They're all just as beautiful to see, but Burgess Falls is the most impressive. It is about a 1.6-mile round-trip hike. And there's a, an observation deck that you can see. They, they really have a good view of the waterfall. There used to be access to the bottom, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it got washed away several years ago, and it's not been built back. So we access it from the bottom, actually. At um, Center Hill Lake. From Center Hill Lake. We paddle in in our kayaks. We 
launched our kayaks from a little local dirt boat ramp there off of Cane Hollow Road in Sparta. Uh, and we paddled probably for two miles. Yeah, it's a little difficult, but it, the journey's worth it. it. It's There's not much boat traffic back there, so it is a little easier paddle unless you're hitting headwinds. Uh, but you go in there, and it, and once you get up so far, you will have to get out of the out of your kayak and do some hiking do a little bit of hiking to get to the base but it is absolutely amazing the the roar from the waterfalls is absolutely overbearing it is definitely a day trip uh it will take all day yes all day to do your trip and yeah. there, there it's a good swimming hole down at the base of um mm -hmm. burgess falls yeah and something i like to say about burgess falls it is a very unique waterfall mm -hmm. it's it don't it's 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 a waterfall and and a cascade kind of mix mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's a beautiful waterfall mm -hmm. all right and our final waterfall is ranger falls in burship springs tennessee ranger falls is a 30-foot waterfall and it's part of south cumberland state park there is no swimming hole down at the bottom, and all the water just disappears into the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about a 6.6 .6 round trip hike from the Stone Door Ranger Station. And it's a difficult hike, I would say. It's, it's definitely difficult climbing out. Definitely difficult climbing. It is hard to climb so out. So be prepared. Uh, be prepared for that. Uh, but there are some bonus views yes, amazing. on the way to Ranger Falls. You pass Laurel Overlook. You have the Stone Door Overlook, which is just a cliff hanging out over the mountainside. <laughs> no fence, but beautiful views of Big Creek Gulf. It is, it is beautiful. As you head out of the Stone Door area, you will follow the signs for Big Creek Gulf Trail and Ranger Falls will be a spur trail off of Big Creek Gulf Trail. This is probably one of the most difficult waterfalls that we visited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we got a little turned around mm -hmm. there a few times, our first time there. Mm -hmm. But it was worth getting lost. Yes, it was. With all of the extra steps that we had to take. So do your research before you go there. So there you have it, eight of our favorite Tennessee waterfalls. But if you hang around the channel long enough and you get to know us, you're going to figure out that whatever waterfall we're at is going to be our favorite waterfall. We love them all. So tell us in the comments below what your favorite waterfall is, regardless of what state you live in. We have so many adventures planned and we want you to follow along with us. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.